So I get this comment a lot. Ever since my DA50 versus the K1, tons and tons of Nikon shooters have left their messages in this comment section of my YouTube and my inbox. They are all saying this to me. No matter how good the Pentax K1 image quality may be, the autofocus system sucks on the Pentax. It just sucks. No one is using it. It's slow. It's not accurate. You won't see it at any special event. So there's no point in investing on a system that can't focus on your subject. And I'm sitting there like, what? And I can't blame them because I used to be one of those guys three years ago before I even bought the Pentax K1. I saw all the reviews. I read all the articles. They are not known for a good autofocus for some odd reason, that is a consensus out there. But after using the camera for close to two years, I would have to say it's quite different from what they're saying, actually. It's so different now. And after watching the reviews again and reading the articles, I realized some of these people, number one, don't even have a portfolio website. They don't even have a background in photography. They don't even know how to use the camera. So hopefully after this entire video, I hope to change a lot of people's perspective on the autofocus system of the Pentax. And yes, I'll be showing you guys several sequence shots in my wildlife photography. And yes, you'll be able to see the good autofocus and the bad autofocus. And yes, they won't be post-processed. They'll be cropped only. So let it begin. So for my first shot, the Kestrel. Yes, this sequence right here, this bird is about eight inches big, 30, 40 feet away. Yes, I didn't have a monopod or tripod. Did my camera focus on this bird? Yes, it did. Did it miss some shots? Yes, it did. It missed about one or two shots from this sequence right here. And there's four and a half frames per second. And so make sure you are definitely pacing yourself. You're not spraying, praying. You got compose and shoot. My second sequence is the ball eagle. This thing was everywhere. It was zigzagging all over the sky. And so when I finally got a good setup with this ball eagle, I was slowly shooting my shot at it. And definitely the autofocus works just fine. I did miss one or two shots. That's typical. But all in all, I was pretty happy with the results. It did track the bird very well. These birds are flying pretty fast, by the way. Just keep that in mind. They're flying super fast. So. My next shot is an owl, short ear owl. Definitely, if you are chasing an owl or any bird across a blade of grass, you know, those people out there know, sometimes too much autofocus system, too much AF points, you might be snapping on a grass blade. Just, just, just saying, right? Just saying. Yes, as I was following focus with the owl, yes, sometimes I did, you know, autofocus on a blade of grass, but Overall, I was able to track the bird left and right. It felt fine. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't find any complaints about it because I experienced the same thing with my Nikon. So there was no real, you know, huge difference with the D7200 and this particular camera. And so with my fourth shot, my fourth sequence, the Heron, this huge bird was flying, you know, across the scene, and yes, I got most of the shot that I wanted with some technique, you could definitely hit your shot. And yes, the autofocus was able to track the bird down. Yes, the autofocus system actually worked. I have no problem with it. And here, here's a test of my dog. I had my dog running towards me and I did several tests and it was just fine. The only time I missed my shot on my dog was when I couldn't predict his movement. But when I could, I got all the shots that I wanted. So with all these examples that I have shown you guys, I hope I'm able to change some people's perspective on the autofocus system on the K1. So all in all, can this camera do sports events, wildlife events, portraits, weddings, family gatherings, kids, animals? Sure, it can. Just make sure four and a half frames per second, you pace yourself. You have to compose your shot before you shoot your shot. This camera can autofocus very nicely. It can do all of that. Do not listen to the other people because number one, they probably don't own the system. Number two, when they're doing these reviews, they're just doing a quick review. They're not diving into the menus to adjust the autofocus because they don't know about the autofocus. It's deep down in the menus, of course, like any system. Nikon has it, Canon has it. Pentax has it, every single camera brand have their own autofocus settings. 
it is really required that they actually dive deep down to adjust these settings because if they don't, they're gonna say it's slow, it's off, and that's just, you know, it's sad. You guys know it doesn't take much to do much with autofocus. Just make sure you have technique. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy, peace. And also, no, I don't go to those weird gatherings to shoot one bird. That is strange to me. That's like going to the zoo and shooting birds in a cage. I don't go to those easy places to get that shot. That is too easy for me. That is weird. You guys are scaring off the birds in that case. I go to far away places where there's only two or three people in the entire forest. That is my technique right there. That is my little secret.